Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm walking along one of the nice beaches in Wales today with a beer in my hand as well and I thought it was time we had a bit of an update because there's not really much content going on this week but I thought this would be a chance to give you guys a bit of an update about what's going on. Um, we'll talk about the T3 system, we will talk about Cadex a little bit and we'll talk about everything else that's going on in FPV and drones and really what to expect from the channel in the next couple of weeks and months. Now I'm going to have to do this one handheld I'm afraid because there's no way to put my phone. As you can see, lovely day in Wales. That's not very nice but that's pretty good. But yes, a lovely day here in Wales. So bright I gotta wear my sunglasses. My hat got a little bit wet as well so ignore the staining on that. Okay so a few things to talk about. I didn't do a live this week because I'm traveling having a little bit of time off. I have received the T3 system. That has arrived. It arrived just before I went away. Some interesting stuff around that actually. Now that has landed, we're now in the position to be able to confirm it's not open IPC, it is not Ruby, it is a Wi-Fi based system, but it appears to be entirely custom. I'll be talking about this a lot more when my video about it comes out. But that is something really interesting because we now have something else that is based on similar hardware or the same hardware. There are some differences as what we've seen from OpenIPC, Ruby FPV, OpenHD, all of these others. But it's got its own software stack. And we're starting to see a bit of a proliferation of hardware appear with different software on as well. And I don't think this is going to be the last that we see like this. I am looking forward to testing this T3 system a lot more. I don't think it's a fully quad based system, but it's definitely interesting for wing use. That is for sure. And it's going to be interesting to see where they go with this, because remember they are a brand we have not seen in FPV before. So it's quite cool to have something new. Yes, it's Wi-Fi, but it's new. And I'm looking forward to testing it and understanding it, but there's a lot to do. It's not just as simple as putting it on the bench and going through it. There's all of the RF testing. There's all of the behavior testing, a bit of DJI. I have seen some stuff on the Spectrum Analyzer already that I certainly rose an eyebrow to, but I didn't have enough time to test it properly. I'll be doing that when I get back in the next couple of weeks. But again, it's really good to see something new come in. Um, and I look forward to seeing how it performs. Next, moving on to Cadex. Now, with regards to the stuff that went on, I still don't want to say too much yet. I'm still, as I understand it, under threat of legal action. I stand by everything that I said in that video. I believe everything I said in that video was fully true. I haven't heard any more from Cadex, but this puts me in a difficult position. Moving on to this product of theirs. We are still waiting to see it released. I have no idea when it's going to come out. Um, Cadex did tell me in my email exchanges it is not open IPC based. We don't know if it's Wi-Fi based. We don't know if it's similar to the T3 system in that respect. But what they have absolutely categorically said, it is not based on open IPC. It is their own in-house developed system. And that is what it is. We don't know what it is. We still don't know when it's going to launch. They also said there's going to be a new Moonlight and a new GTVTX as well. None of that has come out yet either. So we've just got to wait and see. Obviously, anything new is really interesting. So I am looking forward to if they've developed something new in-house. Let's take a look at it. We'll evaluate it exactly the same as we do everything else. They have set the expectations on this already something new, something for beginners. I think they know it's probably not going to suit everyone up front, hence their rather cryptic email, sorry, messaging that they put up on uh, Facebook. But again, it will get all of the same opportunity as every other system has. We're not going to specifically treat it any different to any other system out there. It'll be reviewed in the same way all of the other systems are reviewed. I'll be buying it when it comes out because they're not going to send it to me, that's for sure. And then I will give you my opinion on it when it finally lands. And then one day I might be able to share with you 
quite an interesting story on this whole other saga. One other thing I will just say on that whole Cadix thing is there is so much that I want to say, but I can't obviously right now. But I am really disappointed in how I seem to have been left to hang out to dry on this one. Um, how I seem to have been the complete target of this one. Nothing to do with the other creator involved, but some people I thought were... Um, there's some people that could have come out and made this all so much better. It's not other creators. It's just there was an opportunity here to do some real good and unfortunately that hasn't been taken up by the people involved and I think it's been seen as an opportunity to sort of lay a path or a story that I'm the bad guy but again one day I will share the whole thing and let you all decide for yourselves. As for other things going on, well, we are still seeing lots of issues with DJI O for the light ear unit, what I call the light ear unit specifically. That is really fragile. Basically, look at that ear unit wrong, it will fail. You crush it, it will fail. You bend the board, it will fail. You tug on the cable, it will fail. You look at the camera wrong, it will fail. The O4 light, as, as we've labeled it, is really not designed as a 1S board. It is not designed to be crashed. It is a lightweight board. It is a board that is going to allow you to put it in smaller, lighter platforms. But this isn't the holy grail 1S board that everyone hoped. And the reality is, it just cannot hold up to the punishment that a 1S board needs to be able to hold up to and we are just seeing so many people with issues again we still have the problems with the goggles 2 and integra with the ham file as well all of that is still a big problem i'm actually in the process of starting my proper full review on dji 04 and i'm going to be honest i am going to be saying a recommendation for the 04 pro but I'm actually going to be telling you, don't buy the 04 Lite. I don't think that product is fit for purpose. And as such, I will be telling you, do not buy it. Because there is just too many failures right now. Unfortunately, I have to say how I feel. And that is how I feel on that board. Obviously, tariffs are hitting hard right now as well. And just something to be aware of, people are getting really slammed with import fees when getting products back, even from repair. There's a guy who bought, sorry, sent a, Mav a Mavic, I think it was, or it might have been a Nevada, into DJI Repair. DJI have shipped it back to him via Canada, and he's now got a $1,200 bill for import duties. Now, I can't strictly blame DJI for this, but this is the kind of problems you face when you have tariffs like this that are introduced and you have these changes that come in. So just be careful. If you're returning a product for warranty in the US, be aware because you may have problems. Obviously, all of this is going to have a big effect on FPV. We don't know what the score is. We just don't know what this will all mean in the long term. All we can do right now is wait and see. Hold off is what I was saying with regards to buying stuff unless you absolutely have to. Obviously, if you have to, I think I'll start walking back this way. Obviously, if you have to buy it, you've got to buy it. But um, unless you really need to buy it, I really would hold off and wait and see what happens. This is going to cause problems for FPV. We are in a state where things are uncertain. You're going to see product launches held back. I still don't know, even know what's happening with the Cadex product launch. I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen anything. We assume they're still releasing this product, which they were talking about. But we're just going to have to wait and see because right now we still haven't even seen a release date. There's been images of it from um, these guys over in China. But again, yeah, it, it's strange times. And I think we're going to see a bit of a, a slowing down of things in FPV whilst people sort of take stock of the situation and wait to see what's going on with the tariffs there's very little in the pipeline right now honestly 
there really is very little coming through. I've got nothing I could really even think about for a view other than the T3 system. Obviously, I've been talking a bit about 3D printers recently and I'm still testing the H2D. That's probably where I'm going to put a bit of time in the next couple of weeks. I am also testing that CNC machine as well, which we're going to be talking about too. A little annoyance I had this week is obviously there's a bit of noise out there about Bamboo's affiliate scheme. Um, having terms and conditions that says you should positively promote. I'm going to be crystal clear. I never agreed to those terms. My affiliate terms for Bamboo do not state I must positively promote. My understanding of this was this was an initial terms and conditions that was changed when it was highlighted to them. It was not ever rolled out to me. I can say what I want. I have found Bamboo to be one of the best brands to work with. No different to Radio Master or any of the others. I certainly have not agreed to something on Bamboo that I wouldn't have agreed to on Cadex. I had someone criticise me and say, well, you kicked off about Cadex's terms, but Bamboo say this. Just understand, my Bamboo terms don't say that. My Bamboo terms say I should just promote it in a manner that's truthful. And that's what I've agreed to, and that's why... I have always said exactly what I think about their products and anyone else's. Anyway, that's my short update. I'm gonna finish my beer. Stay safe, I will speak to you soon. A quick last look at this Welsh beach just before I go. Very nice indeed, especially with a beer. Bye-bye.